Hey there, guys. Happy Wednesday. Um, I am today doing um, alcohol inks on the jelly pad to make um, one of these uh, uh, bezel tray necklace. So let's get into it. Um, a lot of times with the alcohol ink directly on the jelly pad, um, you have to be kind of quick because otherwise it'll dry really fast and you can't lift it. So we're going to go ahead and be as quick as we possibly can. I have a, my birthday dinner on Saturday night and I'm going to be wearing like a plum color. So I'm going to make this for me. Um, I have Picasso alcohol inks. I have, whoops, sorry. I have rosehip, orchid, fuchsia, and ruby. And I'm going to do something a little different than what I normally do. I'm just going to do dots all around. Should have opened these first because sometimes they tend to stain beforehand, but that's okay. So I'm just going to do dots. And we'll see if this works. We're going to stay on camera regardless if it works or not. Okay. So now I'm just going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to spread them out to the sides and let them collide. And it's either going to be a big mess or it's going to work out okay. Looks like a mess, but we'll see how it lifts. Sometimes I like to not cover it completely. Um, let's see. So it was a muddy mess. That's what happens. That's what happens sometimes. So. I'm going to do what I have been doing, which is I'm going to put them in the pots and I'm going to paint them on one by one. So for those of you that think I get it right every single time, there you have it. So I'm just going to paint these on willy-nilly. And like I said, I do leave some white sometimes showing because it just adds a little bit of interest. And like I said, you have to work kind of fast. These are going to try and get in a couple little dots, maybe. You can see that. Okay. And now, and I'm using um, like index card stock. Um, so it's a little bit heavier than just regular paper or anything, but I like index card stock. It works the best, I feel like. So that's a little better, um, if you can see that. Let me just see. This is how I kind of test out if I'm going to like it or not. I'll take the, the glass piece and see how it's going to look. I'm also going to paint on it a little bit with the silver um, gel pen. So I'm going to do it again. I'm not in love. So way less of the orchid this time. We'll get it right. 
But this just shows you that there's a lot of trial and error with this. Doesn't always happen the first time. All right, let's see how that works. It could be that the colors are a little too similar to each other. So maybe I'll get rid of one of the colors and see how it works. Yeah, I need a more contrasting color. These aren't bad, but I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna throw in some mango. Or it's actually marigold. So I'm going to do that just for a little contrast because I just think that there wasn't enough. And then we'll do some orchid. Now you know why my table looks like this. Okay, let's try it again, guys. That may have dried up a little bit, but we'll see. And then I'll show you what to do if it does dry up. All right, so I like that because I can work with that. And again, I'm just going to take my... Yeah, so I like that. Okay, so now I'm just going to, I was going to attempt to put that on, right? Um, I'm going to take my little glass capuchon here and figure out where I want this. I have a little black um, fine tip marker thing here. Um, and I'm going to kind of like that. So I'm going to do that. Outline this. And just because you're cutting out this size doesn't mean that it's going to fit perfectly in your bezel. I have learned that a couple times. A lot of times you still have to adjust um, the size to fit inside. So we'll cut this out. And I do have a paper slicer. I just... This is easier for right now. And obviously, if you like the rest of the sheet that you made, you can use that for other, other things. So I definitely cut this very wonky. 
because I'm doing a video, so of course. All right, so it doesn't fit perfectly, but when you put this in, it's not really gonna matter, as you can see. So I'm gonna leave it. See how there's some space up at the top there, but you're not gonna see that. So I need, sorry guys. So I was thinking of doing silver with the gel pen on this. Let me do this so you can see. Um, but no, I'm still gonna do silver. So I think I'm going to, I'm gonna outline the white. These are the uniballs that I have in my store and I love these, they're so good. And then, of course, I'm going to add some dots. I think I'm going to do the dots where kind of the colors mix together. So that's how that looks. If you guys can see, I have, I'm in a different part of my studio, so. The light is a little bit different. <clears throat> so I'm gonna let that dry for just a minute and I will return in a minute. Okay, so this is dry and we're gonna go ahead and um, get these ready. So in the actual bezel, <clears throat> I have this B7000. I don't know if this is supposed to be a takeoff on E6000 or what, but this stuff works really well. Um, <clears throat> and it's cool because it has the little needle thing that goes in there. Um, so it's always ready to go. Um, so anyway, just take its very tiny little tip. I just go around the edges and then just kind of swipe it across like that, just really lightly. There's not a whole lot that comes out and that's totally fine because you don't need much. And then I'm gonna <laughs> attempt to put that in. Hold on, let me go under my little magnifier here. There. Okay. Put that on. Put your picture in. Decide which way you want it to go. I think I like it that way. And then just set that in there. Take something. I'll take my the end of my paintbrush here. And just kind of Press it on in there. And then I have diamond glaze. Diamond glaze, which um, I use to adhere the glass bezel. Make sure that the bottom of your bezel is clean. Let me just grab my dress here and do that. And then I just put the diamond glaze on the bezel. I mean, on the glass, but I heard you can do it directly on there. I just am not brave enough to do that because I feel like it's going to smear, but supposedly it's okay. So just kind of swipe this back and forth. You don't want to use too much because it'll come pouring out of the sides and even that little tiny amount might even come pouring out of the sides. It's very watery. And then I just place it in there and there you go. That's it. I have these little clamps and I just kind of clamp that on there. It dries pretty quickly, um, but I just kind of clamp that on there. And if anything seeps out like it is, just take a paper towel, wipe that off. If you have anything that comes across the top of it, of the diamond glaze, um, just, I usually just take some alcohol, which I'm going to do right now, and spray it on here, and wipe it off. It's 
So, but that's what it's going to look like. And I'm just going to clamp it down for a little bit and then I will just throw some kind of chain on it and it'll be perfect. Um, you can find everything on my Amazon store, all of this stuff, um, even the bezels on my Amazon store and I'll have a link in the description. Also join Happy Place Studio Facebook group. Uh, you'll find out more easily um, about the tutorials and stuff that I do and I answer all questions and everything and I can tell you where things are at whereas some of the other groups I, I'm not as free to talk about things and if you have a group you can advertise it on the Happy Place Studio. So thanks for watching guys. Um, I think you'll see me tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.